Hi, good afternoon. This is Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19, and today is day number 98. Day number 98. Um, I really never thought that I would get close to 100 days. But, I have, and I'm going to get there. Unless, unless I fall off the balcony tonight or something. Anyway, uh, welcome to uh, Rooftop Trombone in the Age of COVID-19. My, my, my name is Don Bowyer, and I am the Dean of the School of Arts at Sunway University, which is right over there, just a couple hundred meters, really close for American, in American uh, distancing. And um, I can say that because I'm American, right? It's okay. It's okay for me to make fun of Americans. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? Oh, so Sunway University, which is in Sunway City, a neighborhood in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. That's uh, KL for short, Kuala Lumpur. Um, a wonderful place to be. Uh, Malaysia and KL and Sunway City all. Um, in fact, some I, the things I could tell you about Sunway City, my goodness, with the... Uh, the, the theme park that is a, a tourist attraction for people all over Asia, um, a shopping mall that is one of the one of the big ones. Uh, I mean, there are there are a couple others also, but one of the real one of the really nice shopping malls in the area is. I walk there. Well, I do when it's not hot. It's hot all the time. Anyway, I do still walk some. I quite, actually I walk quite a bit. I'm sure you don't really care. Anyway, um, so 90. What did I say? 98 days. 98 days ago. Um, well, 97 days ago was day number one, of course, because we can do math. Um, I went out on day number one of Malaysia's lockdown, which we call Movement Control Order, MCO. On day number one of that uh, lockdown, I went out on my rooftop, which is actually on the other side from here, um, and played trombone and chatted for 10, 15 minutes and, and made a commitment that I would play every day until the MCO ended. Um, now we've entered into a lot of gray areas along the way because technically the MCO ended after seven weeks, 49 days. Uh, however, it went immediately into what was called a conditional movement control order, AKA CMCO, which lasted for five more weeks, 35 days. And uh, so is that still the MCO that I committed to play during? I don't know. Anyway. That merged into construction over there. Two weeks ago, they're digging big holes to lay foundations in. That's what all that is. They've got these, it's really amazing. I'll post some video or something, because uh, I walk right past it um, on the way to the university. But they're digging these huge holes deep down into the ground to lay foundations for a new building. Um, it's really interesting to see how they do that. Every lot of cement here. We don't we don't use steel beams in Malaysia so much as as cement, which uh, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? So um, the CMCO five weeks, 35 days, went right into what's called a recovery movement control order, and that's been two weeks ago today that started. So uh, 14 more days, and so that all together is exactly, I believe. Uh, 14 weeks ago today we started this, well, 14 weeks ago tomorrow was day one, right? This is day 98, the end of 14 weeks. Um, and that's, uh, that's a lot of days. Um, anyway, uh, it turns out that this recovery movement control order is going to last at least 10 more weeks. And who knows, after that, it's highly likely I think they'll have a, another acronym that ends with MCO. After that, uh, that's that's ten more weeks is until August 31st. By the way, I'm sure there'll be something after that, and and so um, now that we're the staff are back in the the, the faculty and the and the staff are all back in the university now, um, not our students. We're still teaching online, but but we are doing meetings and things, and because of that, it's getting really difficult for me to keep this going. So I'm targeting about one more week. Um, I'm still trying to arrange for a big finale, but uh, one week from tonight is, is day number 105 and also the end of 15 weeks, and uh, I think that's probably my final show, my final daily show, um, 
Some people have suggested maybe I should continue doing once a week or something after that, and that's a possibility. But anyway, none of that is really relevant today. I'm here today to play three tunes for you and, um, and, and complain about the, the fact that I haven't seen my wife in well over 100 days because she was out of the country when this started. And she can't come back yet. Um, but again, I've, I've mentioned this before. If any of you have friends in uh, the government, especially in the immigration office, um, I'd really like to play music for them. Uh, let me know what they like to hear. I'll play it. I'll dedicate it. I, I, will, I will lay it on thick if you can help me get in touch with immigration to get uh, a letter that says, yes, Donna, you can come back because we need that because um, otherwise things, things are going to get rough. Anyway, that's the end of my whining for this moment. I'm going to play something for you. I'm going to play three tunes for you today, and today they're all original compositions of mine, because um, I thought I would. Um, and this first one is, uh, is a Latin tune that I wrote. Actually, the first one and the last one both, the first one and the third one, are tunes that I wrote years in 2005, it turns out. I, I see the date on the bottom. I wrote these in 2005, so 15 years ago, as audition pieces for jazz ensemble students at the University of Alabama in Huntsville, which is where I was teaching at the time. And I wanted to put audition music on the internet that they could download, and I thought, well, if I, if I use jazz standards and something, and then I'm really breaking copyright laws and the university's liable and all that. So I wrote my own tunes. So, uh, so I wrote these two tunes for that, and, and they've been sitting on my computer ever since. I've used them a few times for auditions. Anyway, if you were in that band 15 years ago, or 14 or 13 or 12 years ago, you, you may recognize these melodies. They're moving some rock now. Anyway, um, if my grandson were here, he could tell me whether that's a front end loader or a backhoe, because to me they both look the same and I don't know which is which. But he would know, and it's right there. Anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, this first one is a Latin tune, it's called Fundamentally Fearful. Uh, the title is another story, don't worry about it. Fundamentally Fearful, it's a Latin tune that I wrote. <laughs> crank up a little bit. Thank you. 
Fundamentally fearful. Thank you, thank you. Fundamentally fearful. Um, the titles, by the way, of both of these tunes are silly. Um, it turns out this program that I'm using for these backing tracks is a, a, a software you can buy, by the way. Um, I don't make any money off it, but it's called Band in a Box. It's very good for, for practicing jazz. Um, I don't really like to use it to perform because I'd much rather perform with other people. But that's not an option right now. So anyway, um, it's called Band in a Box, and it's been around for years. It's, it's improved a lot. It's much, much better now than it was in the old days. Uh, a lot, of, lot more realistic tracks. But one of the features they added at least 15 years ago, because I used it in two, in fact, it was probably new then, because uh, I thought it was funny, uh, there was an option to, to, uh, for the computer, the artificial intelligence, if you will, to make up a title for you. And uh, I had it make up titles for this one and the third one, and I thought they were funny, so I used them. Uh, so what, what did I say? Fundamentally fearful is what that one was. Um, anyway, uh, we'll get to that other one in a minute, when, and it's odd title. But first, I want to play another tune of mine that is not from that story, um, but it belongs in the middle, stylistically. Anyway, this is a tune that I wrote years ago, boy, 1991, in 1991, almost 30 years ago. My goodness, that's like, the, that's like a year before the, the lockdown began, isn't it? Um, anyway, uh, I, I digress so often. Uh, anyway, um, I wrote this in 1991 uh, when I lived in Sweden and uh, uh, was in, a, a, was in a, several groups, including a big band named the Capo Big Band, which was just a fabulous experience. Hello to all my Capo friends. Uh, but from that group, we had a, a quintet, uh, five of us, a trumpet player and, a, and the rhythm section and I, and, and we played some as, a, I don't know, Don Bowyer quintet or the the Capo Quintet or the Monica Ohm Quintet. I don't, I don't remember now what we called ourselves. It doesn't really matter. But I wrote this tune at that time for that quintet. Um, and that trumpet player, Nils Joran Holstein, hi Nisse, uh, Nisse is his nickname, um, reminded me about this tune. And by the way, the title came from him. Um, and he reminded me about this tune not long ago and, and told me I should play it. And it's really an awkward tune to play with just a computer, but I, I think I've worked it out. I think it'll work. I hope you like it. Um, in English, first of all, I've shortened the title because the original title that Nisei came up with um, was not polite for family audiences. Um, so we'll just leave it at that. Um, but in Swedish, the, the shortened title is Titapol which in England, and I probably didn't pronounce that well because I haven't lived there in 30 years, but almost. But in English, it translates to uh, looking at, or the English title I'm using is Just Looking. So here's a tune called Just Looking. Oh, I need to cue up the band. I talk so much and the band doesn't do a thing while I'm talking. Don't know what's up with that. Anyway, it's a tune called Just Looking. It starts out with just, just bass and me and a little bit of drum cymbal stuff. I hope you like it. It's a blues tune, sort of. And it's for you, Nisse. Thank <laughs> you. 
my story I'm sticking to it uh, thank you thank you and my uh, my fan club on the back late below thank you um, anyway I've got one more tune I'm gonna play for you this is uh, the other tune from the audition tunes that I wrote 15 years ago in in Alabama and I allowed the computer to name it and again because I thought actually I love titles I, I have a whole list of song titles I intend to use someday um, the most recent one um, it, that I haven't written yet, but, but I've got a title I've got to write soon uh, called The Provost Says No. Um, and uh, it, was, it, it was inspired by my provost, or provost, as they say here, um, who says no a lot. Well, I think that sort of goes with the job. Anyway, um, and it's not disrespectful because he has been asking me to write that song. He'd like to use it, I think. Instead of saying no, he'd like to just send people that song. I don't know. Uh, I'll write it one day soon. Um, in the meantime, I didn't make up a title for this one because I let the computer do it and I thought it was funny. And the, the words it came up with, the words that the AI spit out were deft counteraction. So this next tune is a deft counteraction. And it's also a blues tune, but it's a very different style blues tune today. Um, I've even brought in the horn section from the, the Saturday Night Live band. I hope you like it. Hey guys, good to have you. Come on, come on, wake up. I know they're there. Thank you. 
And that is deft counteraction. Thank you, thank you. It's, just, it's really just a big old loud blues. Isn't that fun though? It's fun for me. Maybe it's not for you. Uh, anyway, that's it for today. Uh, be back tomorrow with completely different music. Uh, in fact, I've got a show planned out for tomorrow, a special thing for tomorrow, um, that, that I'll tell you about it then. Anyway, um, thanks so much for being here. I'm gonna keep doing this for another week. And uh, I'm not sure after that, but I think probably another week. I think Tuesday, the, June the 30th, will probably be the, the end of the daily run because I keep having meetings that I have to leave. And that's, you know, sometimes it's, it's good to leave a meeting, but sometimes it's not good to leave a meeting. And um, I, need to quit. I need to quit this so I can do my real job. So thanks again. Um, I'll be here all this week and, and into next week, and I hope to see you then. Bye-bye. Can't find that button.